Congratulations, actually, because it's a big move. Yeah, to get fist pump for that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and we have reached our destination. Well, I've just arrived at a certain destination because I'm here with James. Hello, James. Good afternoon, morning, evening, whatever it happens to be. But it's sunny. I don't really care what time of day it is. Welcome. So, welcome. To today, first things first, what we're doing is we're back cycling before we go into the mortgage and the property chat. We're going for an hour around the park. And we're enjoying the cycling. Right. I'm getting worse. I'm worse than last year. You've got sore knees. Yeah. Tell everyone you've got sore knees. Guys, I've got sore knees. Yeah, you've got a sore okay. knee injury. I, I, I think it's more than that. I think I need new legs. Yeah. Something's going wrong. The need speed, something, mate. Speed's not good, is it? Uh, it's... <laughs> mate, it's abysmal. Tell everyone about that ride to Windsor oh, the other day. We rode, like, honestly, I don't want to make you supposed to be my friend, but I've got, I've got to be honest with the was, How bad was it? We went to Windsor, honestly, after 15 minutes, I thought he's got to be joking. This is, is it April the 1st? I thought it was an April 4th, it was that bad. Carried on, I kept looking behind me, my neck was getting sore. So I, <laughs> I thought, is he lost? Is he what? Has he got a puncture? Is his brakes jammed on? No, you were genuinely that slow. Got there? No, no, no. Yes, got there. Yeah, you got there, we made it there, and it's only because we're friends. Tell them about the Granola Bar. You had a homemade granola bar with currants and all sorts of stuff in. It was chaos, actually, to be fair. You bought me one, I told you to go away. You don't like fruit, which is rude, because it's nice you bought me a bar. Anyway, the point is, you had the bar, and it was a revelation. Something changed. Something. Quick home. I can Give believe it. it. Number two or three in a pack out of four or five. The answer was, get him in the middle of the pack and keep him there. The mo <laughs> if you didn't stay in that pack, brown bread. Yeah, gone. Dead. I d Finished. I Pointless. I had to get sat nav out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was getting quotes for you for Uber. <laughs> That's actually funny. Yeah, I'm a funny guy. You're looking, you like you're, 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 looking, you. you're looking in good nick. Yeah. <laughs> you are looking in very good well, nick. It's summer, isn't it? We don't mess about. Those skinny old pegs you got on you, boy. Yeah, I know, but bloody hell, they do go quick. <laughs> Yeah, they do. Uphill, those skinny old twigs get going, don't they? <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah. do. I don't. Looks like uh, Seaman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come past you with the old sparrows. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you call them? Jack? Jack Sparrow, got you. <laughs> anyway, tell us quickly, before we get into this property chat, yeah. uh, tell us about the bike you got, because some people might not know. Yeah, this is a specialised, it's an SL6 tarmac, and I'm particularly fond of the, the paintwork, because it's kind of flip paint. How much is this uh, on the market today? I think they're about, probably about four grand. No, they're, they're not. They're, they're more than that. Well, don't ask me a question if you know the answer. <laughs> That's right. You find yourself with no teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good one. People say <laughs> Whack. Um, is it four grand? Yeah, about so, four grand. So my bike's better? Yeah, that's the sad thing about all this. Oh, I didn't, never. That's why it's so funny you're uh, so slow. Yeah, that's yeah, it's brilliant. Don't tell people I'm slow, I'm not. No, you're good, you're getting better. Uh, you're good. I'm, I'm not going to say getting better. Uh, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my bike's uh, in a hedge, but apart from that, my bike uh, actually had a full service recently. Um, Everything. New bars. Carbon bars. Carbon bars are on my bike, which are very cool. We always get asked about our dash. These are Wahoo dashes. Uh, they're very, very good. Um, all your key data on there, aren't you? All your key data, your heart rate, everything. We always get asked about that. I have Asioma pedals. Uh, Asioma <laughs> power pedals. So my left pedal is a power pedal. So that means I get all of my power onto the dash, which is... Uh, is very very cool. <laughs> the and problem is quite often there, there's no power. I think it says N slash A. <laughs> Not applicable. You are trying, it just can't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Hello, Go, uh, guys. Hello, is that actually over helpline? Yeah, I, I seem to be getting a reading of 12 watts. It thinks I'm doing Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> like like a girl we know that yeah. you go. <laughs> she... Just elite drama, please. <laughs> are you are you in a Pilates <laughs> class? <laughs> I thought she was sleeping. <laughs> you now join us in the uh, KN. KN Turbo. I have toothpaste on me. Yeah, you do. That's because you brush your teeth, so that's a start. Yes. What did you just call me? Tell everyone what you just called me. I didn't call you anything. I said if you don't brush your teeth, you'll have Jeff breath. Yes, and what does that mean? Stinky breath. <laughs> Quite simply. If anyone's called Jeff out there, we apologise. It's not an indirect, it's not a direct. Oh yeah, you can be a Jeff and not have Jeff breath. Yes. That can happen. But well, what we are going to be doing, we're just doing a lap of Richmond Park. A lovely day. We've just been cycling, as you would have seen. But we're going to answer a couple of questions because this is a property chat video. Mm. Uh, we're in a very nice KN Turbo, which we are going to walk around at the end of the video. So do stay tuned for that. But what we're going to do, because James is very in tune with property, um, and we get a lot of questions about property and buying your first one, remortgaging, you name it. I'm going through the whole process at the moment. 
So I'm going to share my thoughts yep. as well as everything else. 100%. So um, you own three properties? Three and a half, four. Three and a half, four. Um, okay, tell us how you got into it. That's probably a good start. How did you get into it? And yeah, so before I bought any kind of nice cars, I guess, I always thought I don't want to invest in a car and have, I don't feel comfortable having a nice car until I feel settled, until I feel like I've got a home. Yeah. You know what I mean, of my own. So the first thing I did when I managed, I just saved and saved and saved and saved. I've always saved since a kid. But the first thing I wanted to do was my big purchase was get was getting a, a flat. Yeah. And so I knew I had a base and a home. And then after that, I'd save again and get a car. So that's what I first did. And when I first bought the first flat, I was intending to live in it, intending to move in and live in it. And then circumstances changed, not financially, um, just saying well, personal in my life. So, well, we can talk about it on the channel. You've been through the same. I lost my dad, so things changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I wanted to support my family, so I didn't move into the flat and I, and I rented it out. And it became a buy to let investment. Um, so, that's what I first did, and chaos when a bike comes past you, but we are abiding by the speed yeah, limit, so yeah, it's a good one. Are, man, he's a good, a good one. one, I like that. I mean, that's it, something you've never done. I mean, he's quicker than me. Yeah. <laughs> I would drop a gear, but I can't. No. The deer won't like it. So yeah, um, rented it out um, and started to learn the ropes, and I'd always intended to have property as a sideline, like a passive income, if you like. Okay. Um, so then I kind of got my appetite for it, and just I'd not spent everything that I had getting that first one, so I was fortunate enough to be in a position to go again. Yeah. So I went again. And then they had a stamp duty change um, a while ago now, and it put a bit of pressure on. So I saved and saved and saved, knowing that was a deadline because it would cost me more to buy another place because the stamp duty threshold they changed. So for anyone watching this, but you have to pay stamp duty over a certain value. Everyone does. Yeah? Or if you're a first time buyer like me. Yeah. Less. That's what I'm coming on to. Okay. But you do know a bit. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, and I'm not an expert expert, but yeah, so yeah. everyone has to pay stamp duty over a certain value. But if it's not your only property, you then have to pay a surplus stamp duty. So you end up basically paying double. Yeah. Yeah, which isn't funny. And if you don't know what stamp duty is, it's basically a tax on buying a place. And the worst thing about it is you can't add it onto your mortgage. So you have to find that lump of money. Separate to the mortgage. On top of your deposit yeah. for so the flat. So let's say your deposit is 90 grand, you yep. then have to find another 60, potentially. Yeah. yeah, and that goes from affordable to seriously unfunny. Yeah. And that's why it's problematic because if you could add the stamp duty onto the mortgage, it might only affect your monthly payments by 100 quid or something. Yeah. So you'd be like, oh, okay. but you can't do it. Can't do it. But also, if you think about it from a, a business perspective, it's a tax. You don't get it back. So again, I didn't really want to get clobbered with like another 15, 20 grand, because that was 15 or 20 grand, that the first 15,000 pounds of that property went up in value, I basically netted nothing. So I squeezed a third in then. Um, okay. It's over a period of a couple of years. Yeah. So it wasn't sort of like overnight. Um, squeezed the third in, um, and yeah, and you know they've all gone up over five or six years, gone up a huge amount in value. And I'm not going to talk about numbers, so I find, find people don't need to know the precise numbers. No, it's not. It's not, not about a numbers game. It's just about know. that you, you've invested your money wisely, yeah. and the money's gone up. Yeah, That's and I did people, it on purpose. Yeah. And each yeah. month I make you know a sizable amount of profit, which is basically the difference between what the mortgage cost me. Um, Could you rent them out? Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know how much detail you want, but on the mortgage side of things, the rental ones are on um, interest only mortgages. Oh, really? Yeah, so basically, very simply, you're basically just paying to borrow the money. So, yeah, just do some simple math. So, say for instance, again, these numbers are just a kind of indicative. You borrowed £100,000 on interest only, and it's 1% interest rate, so you're paying £100 a month for the privilege of that 100 grand. Right. Yep. And then you rent that flat out to someone for £1,000 a month. Yeah? Yes. It's cost me a hundred pounds, yeah, to be a, to be in a position where I've got that flat to make a thousand pounds. So I net nine hundred. Okay, now there are some costs and yeah, everything else, but that's the simple process. But not only that, that flat, for instance, if you bought it for, let's just say we bought it for a hundred grand, yeah, yeah, it might be one hundred and twenty grand after a year. So you not only so do you have your nine hundred times twelve plus your twenty. That's good. I mean, at that point, yeah, you're in. You're in a K and Turbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that but no, but jokes aside, that's what it's about, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And because you've already invested in the property, the property's going up. Yeah. But not only is the property going up, you're also getting money per month for your rentals. Yeah. And then when you come to sell it, you can take that money out and put it into another one and go yeah. again. Yeah. Or you, or you don't sell it. You keep it. You remortgage. 
So get you pull out the positive equity, the stuff you made out of it, you and use that for another deposit. And can I get another one? And you go again. I, I can't believe it. I mean, you, you can now. I can't. But that's, and, and, and when people yeah. hear people have like, you know, that's how three properties, you remortgage three becomes six. Yeah. You remortgage six, you six see becomes 12. how it quickly happens. And that's how you find out with people with loads and loads and loads of properties everywhere. Okay, that so get is it. very interesting. And I do get it because at the moment, what I'm going through, um, when I sold my RS6, people at the time didn't realize fully what was happening because it was the start of the pro progress. But thanks to a company uh, that we'll leave on the screen called Bamford Mortgages, who yeah. we both use. Just remortgaged um, two with them, yeah. You've just remortgaged yeah. two with them. They're amazing. So it's not an advert, by the way. It's where I place my own money and where I find it hassle-free. Yeah. And just, and I've done a few mortgages in my time, Archie. And you've done a few mortgages. So I said to James, I said, look, I've, you know, I'm thinking about selling the RS6. This could fall quite nicely into my hands in terms of this could be the perfect time for me to get a mortgage. Everything's kind of aligning in the right way. Yeah. But now I don't have crazy outgoings that this might be the time, you know, I've got an RS3, but this might be the time to jump on it. Yeah. Um, and at that time when I said about the RS6, it was really, really early days. Since then, um, I've agreed on my first property. Yep, congratulations um, actually, because it's a big move. Yeah, you get this for Thank that. you, yeah. Uh, uh, agreed on my first property and um, hopefully complete in you know the next sort of six weeks. So, and all of that, I just literally got in touch with Band for Mortgages being like, can can I afford this? Like, I yeah, don't know how what, does it work? how yeah. does it work? I have just rented for years and I've got no idea where to start. And if I had five cars on my channel, I w genuinely wouldn't be able to do it. I I'll just point something out, just quickly, because it annoys me. Yes. If you want a bike, yeah? Yeah. Don't yeah. undertake. No. That was Overtake. Rude. Commit to it. Yeah. That was rude. And I, I've got that on the camera. But he's lucky that I check mirrors the whole time. Yeah. Because that's just that's just thick. That was rude. Go round me. I'm doing the speed limit. I've, don't. I don't have a problem with you going I've got it on the camera. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. Anyway, we'll carry on. So I did not know where to start, what to do. It was all very, very confusing. Mm. Um, but... Ban for mortgages, Seb was like, right, this is this is what you can do. This is, you know, what you can go and look at getting. And we've kind of all the stars have all aligned and we've made it mm. possible. But I would I genuinely have no idea. No. Um, and I'm a complete first time buyer. Um, so my stamp duty is oh, obviously less. So I pay, I think, stamp duty on the first three hundred thousand or something. No, you, there's a there's a there's an exemption bit. So the first bit of it you don't pay, and anything over a certain value you pay a percentage on. Right. So, okay. So your flat is more than the yeah. If, and that's the problem with living in London because you're never going to escape. Well, you, you, you'd be lucky to escape that moving into anywhere. You're going to pay it. Yeah. So I I have to pay the stamp duty as well, but it's all part of it. Um, and I've just bought myself a nice two bedroom flat. And I'm, and I'm happy with that. I'm in London. Mate, I'm more than happy with that because yeah. you know who's having the second bedroom. You. You don't have a choice. I'm yeah, in. Yeah, so you're in. Have you looked in the boot? <laughs> I'm packed. <laughs> I'm ready. So a two bed flat for me in London is perfect. All my friends are around, and I think that's important. Um, so yeah, it's all, I'm completely new to the whole thing. But one thing we're going to quickly talk about is being a first time buyer. Um, you have loads of different things, don't you? You have help to buy. You have interest only mortgages. Uh, mine's actually a repayment mortgage. Um, uh, if, if you live in it, so you've got two different things. It's probably. I, obviously, I live in a flat as well, so I've got a residential mortgage for myself, yeah. like you have. Um, but for people looking at it, because people will be watching this, there's two types of people watching this. There'll be people wanting to get the first uh, place for themselves, or with a partner, or family, whatever it is. Mm. And then there's people looking there thinking, I want to make money out of property. Mm. And they're two separate things, aren't they? Yeah, they are. You both go through the same process, you both have to get a mortgage, but one will be residential, so like you've just done. Yeah. And typically, you'll put down a deposit, which is normally starting at 10%. Yeah. So you'll have to find 10% of it, and you put that down. Um, and you'll borrow the rest of the money, and the amount you can borrow is dependent on your income or your joint I'm income. More than ten percent, James. Okay, yes, fine. Because I'm a first-time buyer, it's okay. employed. Yeah, so sometimes, sometimes, sometimes if there's anything they think is more risky, yeah, they'll ask you to yeah. deposit slightly more. But it typically will be about ten to fifteen percent. Mine was fifteen. Okay, fine, cool. So there we go. I'm correct, right? Yes, yep. excellent. And then if you're doing the buy-to-let route, oh, sorry, and finishing off the bit about the residential mortgages and like a normal to live in mortgage. Yes, and that's the mortgage you need to get if you're going to live in it yourself. Um, you are on a repayment mortgage like Archie said so that means you're paying the interest so that's the money you're paying as a fee if you like for borrowing the money yes the cost of borrowing the money and then repayment so you're paying off the loan if you like so much like car finance 
Yeah? Yeah. So each month, a figure comes out of Archie's bank. Let's just say it's £800. I know it's not. £800 comes out. 200 might be interest, so that's the cost of the mortgage, if you like, for him having that money lent to him. And 600 is paying off his flat. But obviously, the idea is he's paying off something that's going up in value, so it's a win. Okay, and it's a repayment mortgage with a fixed five-year thing. Yeah, you can do a two-year fixed, yeah. five-year fixed, but it's, yeah. it's a fixed interest rate. That means in five years, I do have to remortgage it. You go for it again, but because yeah. you're now a homeowner, you've been paying it and not defaulted, let's hope, yeah. um, for a long period of time, <laughs> Yes, it, it, it's more of an admin requirement. It's, right. not, it's, it's not the same process again. Okay. You don't have to have to come with someone. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, oh, okay. it's just tick a box. You just change your product over and go again. So it's nice and simple. Okay, do you know much about, we'll just loop it around, do you know much about help to buy? Well, I don't actually know anything about the help to buy scheme. It, when I started buying, it wasn't something that was sort of, not give way to the right, mate, so. No, no, no. Don't, no. Do you know what? No. Anything you've heard about give way to the right, yeah, it's yeah. probably a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's not even real. No, yeah. <laughs> Why did I bother doing yeah. that my test? Good thing I'm not on two wheels, because <laughs> tell you what, you'll have a chicken teriyaki <laughs> through your mouth. <laughs> and if anyway. it was on camera, your two mirrors would be doing this. Because they'd be yeah, swinging. Got dancing mirrors. Oh, you, <laughs> do you know what your mirrors would look like? A basset's ears, swinging in the wind. <laughs> oh, anyway, help to buy. So what I do know about help to buy, and I'm not trying to educate you because I'm very new to this whole process, is all I know is I think you can only do them on new builds up to 600,000 and it's a 5% deposit, but then the government, you have to start paying them more as you go along, right? Yeah, I've, you, there was an ISA and something to do with the help to buy, and the more I looked into it, the more I just thought it wasn't going to help me. Now, that's not saying it won't, but I just didn't find it massively constructive. It's probably changed since I first did that. And obviously, once you've bought, you're not eligible to it. So yes. um, I'm no longer in the running for that anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm Oh, used... once you've got your first one, you can't do it anyway. Yeah, of course not. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Oh. Makes sense. Because you don't need help. No, you don't. It's a help to buy. Right. Yeah, and you've already bought. Yeah. So you neither need to buy or need help. How I didn't get that. It's beyond me. <laughs> anyway. We carry on, okay. And then, so we've done the residential side of things. So yes. that's, anyone watching this video that's thinking about buying their own property, um, typically anything you're looking at, just work on a basis of minimum of 10% really, unless you're using how to buy, like Archie said. And yeah. I've always thought I want to put as much deposit in as I can so the monthly payments are less stressful. That's yeah. the way I always yeah. think about it. Yeah. And then you've got the, um, the buy to let mortgages. It's slightly different. You normally need to put in a starting point of 25% deposit. Typically that's kind of what lenders want. So wow. it's a considerable oh, amount more. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot of a deposit. Um, and again, if they find something that they're not necessarily as comfortable about, or they've got any element of like not sure about it, that will bump up to thirty percent. So it's quite a lot to find up front. Um, and yeah. then typically, I mean, everyone does business and stuff in different ways, but I personally just do them on interest only because I don't need to be um, repaying them. I don't. I don't need to own them all. And the way I think about it is, I'd rather own um, you know twenty percent in five properties. Yeah. yeah that makes me five times profit a month, yeah, because I've got five different tenants all making me a profit each, yeah. five times capital growth, so that's five times properties going up in value, than owning one outright. Got you. Do you see what I mean? And so if I had if I had five properties a month and they all made me a thousand pound profit, yeah? Yeah. And they make me, you know, okay. Okay. Yeah, so that would be making me 5,000 a month, okay? So over the year, I would have 60 grand sat there. 60 grand is then enough to go again. Wow, yeah. On another one, do you see yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. if I was doing a repayment, they might just be wiping their bum each month. So they're not really making me anything. I mean, they are making me something because I'm paying it off, but yeah. I'm not getting free capital to then buy another one with. Got you. Yeah, so that was another thought process for me. And again, people watching this, if you're in the comments having a go at me or, or you know, a property guru, and that's not the way to do it, don't worry about it. Because this is a side thing for me. I don't, I don't think I'm a property entrepreneur. Yeah. I don't think I'm anything. We don't think we're anything. Yeah. I've done all right out of it, I can yeah. tell you that, and I don't want to be cocky about it and give numbers because I don't like to talk about money. I've done really well out of it. Yeah. So it's worked for me. No, I like talking about that. No, no, I know, but for some people that might do it and have 50 or 100, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. And there's something else on that, actually, because it's something I get asked a lot. I wanted to answer the questions that you and I get. Yeah. Lots of people say, well, would, would you buy, like, say, up north, yeah? Because I can buy a house for 100 grand instead of 400. Good point, fine, happy. Yes, of course, you can do it. Now, I just don't want the stress of having all my properties are relatively proximate to where I am normally based. Yes. Yeah, and I move around a lot. Yeah. But I don't want a property three hours away with a tenant saying my roof's hanging off. Yeah. Now, yes, you can get management companies and et cetera, et cetera. I just like everything that, under costs. one. Costs. Oh, yeah, costs, exactly. I just like everything under one roof. 
and, I, and I'm all about the capital appreciation, about the growth of how much that's going up in value, because that's normally going to match, if not smash, the profit I'm making each yeah, month. Yeah, makes sense. And so the areas I've invested in are places that, yes, a flat isn't that cheap, but they've done a big, big jump. Yeah? And I also think about this. If, for instance, I said to you, a boiler costs £3,000 to fit and install, or three and a half grand, yeah? If my tenants were paying £1,450 a month, yeah? And I was making £1,000 profit a month in that flat, yeah? And the yeah. boiler goes bang. I've got a bill for three and a half grand. So it's wiped out three and a half months rent. Mm. Still got another nine months of the year left, yeah? If I'm in a house up north and the rent is £450 a month, yeah. yes, labour costs might be a little bit cheaper, but that's still gonna be a three grand boiler whatever way, you, whatever way you slice it. I've just wiped out nearly a whole year's profit. Yeah, it's mental. So again, that was another thought process. Again, I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just, I haven't just willy-nilly just gone and bought things and hopefully, a uh, uh, black German Shepherd, good one. Yes, black Sorry, have to, we, have to, we have this yes. thing where we point out German yes, Shepherds like a lot. Yes, uh, has he got protection? Is he Mark, protection? Mark, Class owner? No, he, no, no, don't ask is him. It, does he look like he's protection? No, uh, no. Pulling too much on the lead, poor yes, discipline. Yeah. Right, one camera's run out. Uh, one thing yeah, it didn't run out over, uh, overheated, yeah, actually, overheated, to be honest. Overheated. Yeah, because you're more prepared than that. Overheated. Yeah. Uh, basically, what I was saying is credit score. Um, I nearly got caught out with um, a parking ticket, and I think what I have just what I did over the five years was just um, get my credit score and be on the ball, because when you come to uh, get your first property, they will search everything. They troll through your, your life. To your phone bill, to your car finance, to a missed payment, to a credit card, to a, you name it, they will go through everything. So just be on the ball, I think. Yeah. And us, as, as, it's not a problem having things like credit cards, but you have to make payment on time. You cannot afford to yeah. default on payments. As soon as you start defaulting on stuff, it's flagging against your credit rating, and they just see you as a risk. And you might not be a risk. You might just be lazy or forgetful, but that's, they don't care. And you might have the money in the bank. Yeah, you quite possibly will. But, but they make, don't care. They don't care. They don't yeah, care. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. Tell me a sob story. You haven't got a mortgage. Tell me, you've got a sob. Okay, you got all the money in the bank, but you got a CCJ. What's happening? You're not getting. You, you could show a million quid a year. You're not getting a mortgage. No. It's just the way it is. You might not agree with it, but that's tough. Tough chip of lighters, really. Having a credit card, having anything like that, is no issue at all. In fact, having proof or a track record of being able to make payments is a good thing. So I actually remember being going back many years ago, getting a credit card. I didn't use the credit card at all. But I just got it because it helped my credit rating showing that I was a creditable person that didn't default. Yeah? Right. Mobile phone bill in your name. If there's people that are younger watching it, get stuff in your name because there's no point saying my parents pay my, I pay yeah. my parents back for my bill. Well, it doesn't count for you, so, so quieten down, really. Get building your credit. Yeah. And also, reduce outgoings as well because they go, do go through your bank statements and they're looking at basically affordability all the time. So reducing outgoings has two benefits. One, they like it. But two, of course, it helps you save. And saving, I would say, for me, the biggest thing that I ever did from the age I was 12 and able to work, save, 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 save. Penny watch, look after money, I do it. I'm exactly the same as I am now as I was then. Look after my cash and just stack as much money as you can because all it's gonna do is able to enable you to get on a ladder yeah. earlier. And let's face it, that ladder always is going up, isn't it? Get credit on side, reduce outgoing so when they're going through your stuff. And if you're self-employed, please, please, please get and take control of your accounts. If you don't know what you're doing, get an accountant to do it because they will want to see two or three years of accounts. And if you decide to go and get a mortgage, yeah. you might have another wait for two or three years if your accounts are that far behind. I know. And that isn't funny. I know. Accountant is key. Yeah, get your stuff in place, you know? Get, 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 get your eggs in the basket. I think we've had a really good chat. I, 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 I think this is the perfect chat to have. Absolutely bang on. So what we're going to do, we're going to park up, we're going to walk around the K and I, hope, I genuinely hope you like that. I'm really interested in listening to James talk about property. I'm very new to the whole process. Um, I'm going through it and it's been, it's been stressful, but Bamford Mortgages have made everything really easy in terms of the process has been really nice to deal with. And I think that is part of the process in terms of it's nice if you it's can do that. between it between, but, 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 but uh, between it being stressful and the nightmare. I know, and they are mega. So if you genuinely are interested in thinking, I want to get a mortgage or I'm going to remortgage, you can actually go onto their website and you can type in um, different details and they will look at your mortgage. Mm -hmm. And not only that, they'll then hopefully get you in, which yeah, is the best yeah, yeah. bit as well. I genuinely thought I wasn't in a position uh, to even think about it 
and they've been legends. So get in touch and uh, they will look after you. I can't recommend them highly enough. And they, they, they've made it. I mean, I call Seb Bamford every day. Yeah, hours. Old, old Sebby boy gets terrorised. I feel so. I, I don't know why I introduced you to him because he rang me the other day and he said, "Mate, nice enough lad, but he will not shut up." Yeah, I call him for an hour. We just talk about property, I, and not only that, we talk about other stuff as well. It's brilliant. Yeah, but no. anyway, it, it's it's made the whole process brilliant. So he's a really good guy, and uh, can't recommend him highly enough. Like we said, this is not an ad. This is genuinely just a property chat and a bit yeah, of friendly actually, advice. On that note. Yes, on that note. Let Seb know that you're a friend of Archie and James because I'm sure he'll pull some magic for you. But on that, you can go to a high street bank. When I was a kid and I was first looking at my mortgage, I thought I'll just walk into Santander Hyde, I can have a mortgage. It's a different story going to a broker. Totally different story going to a broker. Oh, he just gets, gets it. Gets it. Especially gets if you're self employed. Done. Gets you're self employed. It. I walked into a bank and they went, they basically said, Sir, there's the door. Yeah? Now, I don't know if it was the trim. The gold tooth, the rig, it could have been any of those could things. Could have been any Old Sebby boy didn't have a problem with any of them. 10 4 got me in the door. Got you in the door? Yep. And got me in the door. And you get when you get that call when you get that phone call from Seb and he says, Good I've got some good news for you. You know you've had a bloody good day and you're gonna be getting some new keys very soon. I could not believe some of the phone calls I've had from him. Uh, He's a top bloke. Some of these houses, James, are brilliant. This is what we really need. Oi, Seb! Seb, can I have one of them? Oi, 10 4, get me a quote on one of them. Yeah, get, yeah, get me one of that bad boy. Yeah, uh, get a 10% deposit on that. 5% in, help to buy on that bad boy. Yeah, I'll give you the 5% in, boy, and those monthlies will be a big old task, boy. Wow. <laughs> Might have to split it with you, Tommy boy, and me. Look at, look at these, wow. They are insane, aren't they? Look at that one. That's a good boy with the glass gates. Oh, that's a lovely boy. <laughs> This is good. I get inspiration coming down here. I think yeah, yeah. I, I feel like this has made me feel like I'm doing okay, but there's a lot further to go. Yeah, it's made me think, oh, that flat's not great, but we'll go with that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's made me think, actually, the place has just bought some <laughs> soul. <laughs> <laughs> that was going funny. Oh. Good old boys. We, we, should have a pro we should have a property hunt uh, Let's series. Let's do it. We should do that. Where we c should actually go out and look at properties and go and find a good one. No, I'll be really honest. I really like nice gates. Yeah, nice I gates like security, are key. But I wouldn't want people seeing in. No, I wouldn't want people seeing in my place. In my gaff. In my but, Patrick Gaffney. Yeah, yeah, got okay, yeah, yeah, got me. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Some of these are brilliant. Brilliant. Anyway, we could be here all day long looking at houses. We but probably it, will be. Look at this one on the right, James. Have you seen it? I mean, that's funny. It's not even funny anyway. It's actually not funny. Anyway, we're going to end this here. Lovely day. But let's have a quick walk on the KM before we end it. This is a very long video, James, but I think it's been informative. I don't think. I know it has. Yeah, no, no, no we don't think. No, we know. Um, the KM Turbo is, is great, and you've had a lot of happy miles in it. Mate, really enjoying this car. Unbelievable. Brilliant. Really, really good. Bay Tree Cars sold you the car? Yeah, mate, Bay Tree Cars. Again, do you know what? Like these videos, this isn't an advert for Bay Tree Cars. Yeah. I just appreciate it when I use someone and they've just got everything tickety boo. I know. But also, just always good spec. I'm actually looking at a summer car with Baytree cars at the moment. Old Chris at Baytree. So if you're looking at things, so, go off our recommendations. We've spent so much money on cars. And I know, we have, yeah. We've the hard way. We have had bad experiences. So when we recommend someone, it's a genuine, like, heartfelt thing. I don't want to cry on your videos. You know what I mean, mate? But yeah, don't cry. Don't cry. It's fine. I'll show you crying in a minute, mate. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we're going to leave this one there, and uh, the KN is looking brilliant. But like we have mentioned, if you are interested in mortgages, make sure you check out Bamford Mortgages. They will look after you, say you're a friend of uh, James or myself, and uh, they'll just look after you. And I'm excited for my journey with my property, and I hope you are too. I will be showing people around when I'm in, James. I think that's that's what's going to happen once well, I think I might be showing them around because I think you'll be locked out I think one. James will have a key and all sorts but once <laughs> I've moved once I've moved in I will genuinely do a tour and uh yeah it will be uh, really exciting so it's exciting times ahead and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already make sure you check out James you've got Instagram don't you yeah je underscore LDNM if you want to see more drivel and there you go see you very soon